All right, so what we have here is a 1986 AM General Humvee. This is a former military truck that we've refitted to have a host of fun goodies. We built this truck for a guy named Neil in Texas about a year ago, and then he called me, he goes, man, I drive like 300 miles to uh, fishing tournaments and it only maxed out at 60, we gotta do something. So let's do a swap. We did a 6.5 liter uh, turbo swap with the center mount. We've upgraded it to a billet wheel, a high flow injection pump, uh, high flow injectors, new fuel system, so it has an electronic fuel pump, and this thing rolls coal. Um, you can see when you start looking at it, you're like, oh, it's kind of military, but then there's some aftermarket wheels. It has a set of Black Rhino 20 inch wheels with 38 inch tires. They're 13 and a half inches wide, so it's not too aggressive. And then when you see the exhaust, um, our buddy at Slammered helped us out with this, and he set up all the welds on it. It looks like candy inside there, and you can see a little bit of that soot coming out of that, that muffler. Uh, when you look at the rear, so it has still the military airlift bumper, and then uh, you can see Warthog here, that's the nickname for this truck, that was a nickname for the build. It took us about three months to put this together, about 320 hours. When you look inside, you're going to see that it's tan on the exterior. This actually started off as a green dilapidated truck, and we did a green Line-X to match all of the interior components. When you come around the side, you're going to see that we have a set of uh, custom aluminum doors by MME, and then let me show you the interior. So the interior is Linexed as well, all new military components. And then you're never gonna know that this has a turbo swap, a different transmission, a 4L80, which will let it go 75, 80 miles an hour, along with an MP242 transfer case that has been built. That transmission was also upgraded with red line clutches, a different valve body, and then a uh, custom torque converter so that we can really put the power down, yeah, which I'll show you. For some abuse. Yeah. I'm going to open up the actual engine bay right now and I'll show you how nice it is. You're never going to see another Humvee with an engine that clean in regards to a 6.5 center mount turbo. So you could do a Duramax swap, but he wanted to keep it original. This thing sounds like a freaking tractor rolling down the road. So, uh... All right, the fun stuff. There's the 6.5 liter. We've got a 200 amp alternator. That's an upgraded feature. We did a host of uh, intake modifications. So. That intake box is made to Ford water. That's what that Fordian kit is for. We've modified the interior of it so that you have full flow. It's probably 40% better flow rate than stock. And then this, this truck has a 4L80, which is an electronic transmission. This is a 24 volt truck running a 12 volt transmission. So we've, we're, I think we're the only people that have ever cracked the code for the EZTCU by FAST. So you have to run a host of modules from Dakota Digital and then like get a conversion rate so you can get your RPM and your speed signal and then your throttle position so that you can set this to shift properly. With that new valve body, this thing shifts like, it's amazing, it shifts like a gunfire. What I think we should do is go inside and take it for a ride. Yeah, let's yeah. up here. And then you wanna hear this thing? Yeah, so you got two switches here. Because of the 12 volt system for the transmission, you can't, keep it on the keyed ignition because that's 24 volts. We've also modified this to have your boost gauge here. Ooh. You're gonna turn this on, that's gonna be your transmission module. And then that's gonna be your transmission uh, module as well for the ignition. There you go. You can hear the turbo spooling already. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll shoot black smoke. Take it. Ready? Oh yeah. Yeah, sounds like a jig. Just turbo and just, oh man. Yeah, all you hear is turbo and driveline when you're going down the road. So when you go inside, you're gonna see it, like it looks like a light bar, but it's actually a sound bar by Wet Sounds. Yeah, yeah. And we color matched it. Uh, and then there's a subwoofer in the back that's powered. It's a 600 watt AS10 sub. And this thing sounds amazing. Uh, it's all Bluetooth capable, and then you do have an additional remote. So if you are outside the truck, you can adjust your volume or put it on mute. You got yourself some storage cubbies under here, your cup, more cup holders and then you've got your 12 volt charging ports over there as well. We've modified the speedometer to be a higher speedometer because it goes faster. Normally it's 60 miles an hour. And then you can see your four speed selector for your transmission. We've also added a whole bunch of lights inside here, red lights because Neil hunts with this truck. So he's gonna take these doors off and blast some hogs with it. So that's perfect. You can, oh, yeah, it gets, gives you better light. So you're gonna take this thing for a spin? Yeah, let's go. Let's do this.
Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We've documented the full build of Warthog. You can see it right here on your left hand side. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you like this content. And let us know what motor we should put inside this girl. Ba 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 